Hello, everyone. So this is today's channeled message of the day. Um, hello. I'm waiting for people to jump on. If you are watching the replay, please bear with me while I get ready. I wanted to let you know that the VIP, Magical VIP group, which its intent is to teach you how to use healing magic and conjure for yourself, is open for sign up. Uh, it will be closing in February uh, for sign up for enrollment. You can do that in my link in bio, or if this, you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch that. You can get that link in my description. Second thing, if you haven't signed up for my Telegram so that you can get my notifications when I'm going live, you can do that in my link in bio as well, okay? Also, um, I have restocked some a lot of the High Priestess May collection and new products will be coming out soon. So if you want to sign up for notifications for that as well, you can do that through my Telegram. And... I will no longer be offering private one-on-one -on -one readings. However, I will be offering collective messages. I will be doing um, consultations. I will continue doing consultations, but my work is, is going back to focusing more on um, conjure, spirit removal, um, demonic removal, and spiritual healing. So I'm gonna be focusing more on that and a little less on readings. Uh, more on helping people with their energy so just keep that in mind uh, so I will only have from now on until spirit tells me to offer readings again I will only have uh, consultations available right so yeah that's that and those can be link. those can be uh, in my link in bio so I will be focusing more like I said on my magical collection on my teaching that spirit wants me to do as well as my healing uh, um, healing practice so that's it ceremonies all right first i want to start this i want to start today with a uh, with addressing all of you um i want to say i am so grateful for all of your support i'm so grateful for everybody who follows me who listens to the messages people who send me so many messages and telling me how much the messages are helping them um, I do, I have been getting a few messages though, uh, talking about, you know, some people feeling attacked or feeling some sort of way because of the message that I deliver. They didn't like the way I delivered it or whatever. I have to say this, I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I am here to deliver the message from spirit. That's my job. <laughs> that doesn't mean that everyone's always going to like what I have to say. That doesn't mean that everyone's ever going and not everyone's always going to agree with what I have to say but I am here to say what I have to say not what you need not what you want to hear so I appreciate everybody who sticks around and who receives information that assists them in their lives so on to the channeled message let's go ahead and get going Archangel Michael is here with us and he wants me to deliver this message the first thing that he's saying to me is when the devil keeps making you look at the past, it's because he doesn't want you to see what is in the future. Okay. When the devil makes you keep, when the devil keeps making you look back, when the devil keeps making you feel a certain type of way, when the devil keeps making you obsessing over certain things, um, whether that is your follower count on Instagram, whether that is whether somebody restricted or blocked you on Instagram, or whether that is if your ex is leaving comments on his new girlfriend's page, whether that is um, having people stalk you on Instagram um, to try to find out your life and what you're doing. Those are all distractions. They're all distractions from the shadows in your life, from the shadow beings in your life that you are meant to overcome. And for as long as you allow these distractions in your life, you will not be able to continue your spiritual journey. You already are in a, on a spiritual journey. You're going to keep getting you're going to keep getting like my like Sam said, the reroute message. Reroute, reroute, reroute because that is how your shadows are distracting you death card there's a lot of change happening right now a lot of change and it's happening fast 
It's happening fast. Change is happening. It's being forced to happen quickly. And it's being forced to happen quickly because it's meant to wake you up. Wake up. Wake up. Realize that you are a sovereign being and that you are not meant to be a slave. Wake up. Wake up. That's what spirit is trying to get you to understand. Spirit is trying to get the collective to wake up quickly. This is why everything that has been happening in the last year has happened. Everything that is that has been that is happening right now politically that's that's playing out on the world stage, that's why it's happening. Because spirit is trying to get you to wake up and stop giving your power to other people. Stop giving your power to govern, giving your giving your power over your lives, over your money, over your existence, over to other people who think they are important. They get away with what they get away with because we allow them to. That is what spirit wants you to understand. You are meant to be a sovereign being. What does that mean? That means you are, made, you are meant to be able to make your own money, your own life, your own schedule. You're not, you were not born to be a slave. It is time to heal our people. Okay? I was in a reading today and St. Martha the Dominator gave me a message through another child of hers. And the message was, it's time to heal our people. People in the African-American community, people in the indigenous community, people, even people in the Caucasian community. You have been broken by what has happened to your ancestors. First, it happened to the Europeans where they were stripped of their ancestry and given different religions. And then they were pushed to do the same to other cultures. It is time to heal ourselves. It is time to heal ourselves and stop looking at each other for the color of our skin, for the ancestry that we have and look at ourselves for the spirits that we are. Until we do so, this earth will never heal and this earth will continue to be plagued by demons. Those of us who have powers will continue to be attacked by demons. We are being distracted you are, we are being distracted by having one side point the finger at another, by having that other side point the finger back at the other side. You need to wake up. Wake up and realize that the devil wants you to keep looking over there because it doesn't want you to see that he is the problem. Just like, the, I'm going to say it, just like our government is having us look at the other group of people as the evil side. Because they are saying things we don't like to hear. We have to stop this. And I'm going to say it because it's a big thing. There's a big thing right now. You have the Trump supporters and you have the progressives or whatever you want to call them, the liberals, whatever. You have these two sides and you are at each other's throat instead of realizing that if you came together you would get more done. And if you try to understand each other and understand each other's perspective and stop calling each other names because it's childish. It is childish. If you stop calling each other names, if you stop fighting against each other and you, and you came together and you turned that wrath against who's truly to blame, you would be liberated and you would stop being used as a pawn. Wake up. Wake up. Those who wish to enslave you are the demons that are poss possessing these government representatives. These bank, pe these people who own these massive banks, bank systems. These people who think that they have the right to put anything they want on your body, to do anything they want to your body, to your mind, to your spirit, who are, who are making acts and convict and, 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 and creating complete destruction against humanity. It 
It's time to wake up and to bring justice. We all have to get together. It doesn't matter what side you're on. We all have to get together because it's not okay for you to stay silent until it affects you personally. It's not okay for you to agree with what's wrong until it starts to affect you personally. Because if you know that you are agreeing with the wrong side simply because you're getting what you want, you will receive you will receive the karma of having to feel what it feels like to be attacked and bullied. The world is ours. The world is supposed to go to those people with good hearts. Exactly. Delusions can be real, so it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up from the illusion. It's gone on for too long. The illusion, the delusion has gone on for too long. That is why so many people are being rerouted again in their spiritual beliefs because you need to reconnect with your discernment, with your spirituality and stop believing the stories you're fed. If something doesn't feel right, it's not. We come from two dimensions that are very black and white. Two dimensions that joined together and created the third dimension in order for us to see things from a gray perspective. In order for us to organ, in order for us to incarnate into physical bodies, I had to say this, but there are so many people. Archangel Michael is saying this to me. Archangel Michael wants you to know this. This is this is the one thing he wants me to get across to a lot of light workers out there. It is not my business how you do your business. It is not my business how you do your work. But Archangel Michael wants you to know this. So many people are getting so caught up in the followers on their Instagram or their TikTok or their YouTube and all that crap. Getting so caught up on the followers, the numbers, the, 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 uh, the, the account size, the popularity that you are losing the point of your mission. Your mission is not to be popular. Your mission is not to be this personality. Your mission is to do your light work. Your mission is to uplift people from darkness. Your mission is to pull people from the darkness. Your mission is to guide people and to help people control their demons. You are getting caught up in your ego. And I'm not going to lie. I've done it. I've done it in the past. That is why spirit allowed for my la from my previous page that had over 20,000 followers to get deleted. They allowed it because it was going to my ego as much as I didn't want to admit it. And I had to learn and I had to relearn that lesson. And Archangel Michael said to me, you are losing the point. Your point here is not to be liked. This is not a popularity contest. Your point in this incarnation is to identify people's demons and to help them control them to help them expel them so if you are a light worker stop stop focusing on the number stop focusing on the number popularity does not guarantee that you're gonna make money okay what guarantees that spirit will send people to you is if you are living in your truth if you are living in your power because that is what spirit will use to 
flow the correct people that are meant for you to you as a light worker. As a light worker, your job is to become a beacon, not to focus on the superficial crap, excuse my language, of how many people are following you, of who's blocking you, who's restricting you, who's your friend on social media, who isn't your friend on social media, who cares? Who cares? That can go away in an instant. So humble up, pull up your shoestrings and get to work because he wants me to tell you this. You're wasting precious time obsessing because that's what your shadows want you to do, to obsess over your followers, your money, your influence and all these things so that you can't get done. What is your actual purpose of getting done in this lifetime? Your work is not meant to be a popularity contest. That's why I said today, I started my live today because that's the, that's, the, that's the spiel, that's the lecture that I got this morning. You have to understand, it's not a popularity contest because what makes people change is what makes them uncomfortable not what makes them comfortable. What makes people grow is what makes them uncomfortable, not what makes them comfortable. So if I have to say, if I have to sit here and I have to give you a verbal lash <laughs> from spirit, sometimes I have to do that because that's how I'm going to get through. To, through your ego, through your, your, um, your shadows, through to your higher self. <laughs> when you don't believe in something you fall for everything when you don't believe in something you fall for everything for every shadow every trick in the book if you don't remember anything else from here from today's message it is this you are being distracted by the devil so that you do not see the brightness of your future and so that you don't so that you are clouded and not able to identify your work and your purpose We have to drop these we have to drop these words like white supremacy or black supremacy or whatever supremacy. Nobody is superior to anybody else. And for as long as we use these words, we are validating that they are superior. For as long as we use these words like white supremacy or black supremacy or whatever supremacy, we are validating that there is one person that is superior to another and that is not true. No one is superior to another. Every person is unique. Every person is powerful on their own. Every person has a power and every person is connected. So if you think that because someone has white skin and you have black skin or someone has black skin and you have white skin and you look at them as different, you are attacking yourself because we are all connected don't you get that that's the whole point we're all connected we're all the same we're all mirrors of each other we're all parts of the same source we're all brothers and sisters we all share the same blood whether we look white black asian whatever we all share the same blood and until you get that that we're all one this will never end and so we stop until we stop using these ridiculous terms like white supremacy and black supremacy and all these other ridiculous terms that have all of a sudden come out. We will not stop validating that someone is superior to us. 
And we will not be able to step into the power that we are unique, that we are powerful on our own. Each and every single one of us has a power that is so strong that there is a reason why these demons exist. These demons exist because they feed off of our powerlessness. And when we let go of our power, those, those demons have a feast. They have a feast day. It's time to heal our people, all of our people. If you have someone that you think is not understand, if you think some, if you have someone, if you encounter someone who is racist, instead of automatically hating them for it, maybe get their point of view. Under, try to understand where they're coming from. I'm not saying to try to change them, but at least understand and understand that that person needs empathy and pity, not actually an attack. Because they are coming from an, a less elevated vibration. They need, we all need to raise each other up. We cannot rise without rising the darkest parts of our society. The most evilest parts of our society. Do you know how many homophobic people I've encountered in my life? In my own family? And I had to learn to love them and send them love while they were sending me hate for being gay. I had to learn to love and send them love because until I learned to love them, even if it's from a distance, and send them love even though they're sending me hate, I was not healed. I was not elevated. I lost my elevation. I could not control my demons until I learned to love that person who sent me hatred. It is through love that we rise, not through hate. It is through love that we elevate, not through hatred. Let's stop claiming that other people and other beings are superior to us. No one is superior to us and no one is inferior to us. They just are who they are. And that's it. And that's it. May the blessings of the archangels and the mysteries of light be with you each and every single day. Praise be to the spirits. Have a blessed day. Again, if you don't want to miss out on my on my updates, make sure that you go on my Telegram and sign up for those updates. Many blessings.